Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Sorry it's been a while again. I was away for Christmas working, but now I'm back. Back on the grind, back getting more videos in. And here we go with another one. Before we get into it though, as always, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. I had a target to hit 100 subscribers before the end of 2021. I have done that thanks to you guys watching the videos. At the time of recording, I'm on 116 subscribers, which... I am a bit blown away by, to be honest. To some people, it won't sound like much, but to me, it's a lot. So thank you very much. Now it's time to push on and hit 200 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, hit the button. It's not just going to be Leeds content coming in the new year. It's going to be more general football Premier League content with Leeds videos dotted in here and there. But this video, as it is a new year, halfway through the season, about halfway through the season anyway. I am going to be reassessing my Premier League table predictions. I did the video at the beginning of the season and some of them are some of them are near, but some of them are very far off. So now I've had half a season to look at. I'm gonna do my prediction again and compare at the end and compare it at the end to my original prediction of the league table. At the time of recording this is the current Premier League table. And I will now get on to my halfway prediction for the Premier League final table. Starting at the bottom in 20th. In 20th, I don't think it's a surprise for anyone. It's gonna be Norwich. Um, I predicted Norwich to finish bottom. In the original prediction, they were always gonna finish last. Everybody knew at the beginning of the season they were gonna finish last. 19th, I am going for Burnley. I I know Newcastle are in 19th currently, but I think they will manage to get some players in in January. Not the players that they're going to want to get in with their millions and billions of pounds, but I think that will push them up. Not too far up though, because I still think that they are going to get relegated just in 18th place instead. 17th, I think, is going to be Watford. It's going to be a scrap between Newcastle and Watford for that last relegation place but I think Ranieri's boys are gonna they're gonna have something in them and they're gonna get over the line maybe it'll be a last day thing 16th place I am going with Brentford Brentford had a really good start to the season but have sort of tailed off a bit I think they will drop down to 16th They'll be happy to stay up in their first ever Premier League season. They'll be happy to stay up and maybe they'll push on in their second season. 15th, I am going with Southampton. They've had a bit of a an up and down season. They lost Danny Ings at the start, which was going to be a, a big blow for them anyway. They replaced him with Adam Armstrong. He's got a few goals. He's not had the, the impact that I'm sure they wanted him to have had. 15th would be a, a, decent, a decent finish for Southampton. 14th, I am going with Leeds United. I would happily take 14th. Last season, 9th was a massive overachievement anyway. If you ask most Leeds fans at the start of the season, they would just take staying in the division, wherever it was, whether it was 17th, or eighth. Staying in the division was the main target. We have been ridiculously unlucky with injuries. I think we had 10 first team players out injured at one point. Uh, very recently that was anyway. So hopefully when we get those back, gradually anyway, we'll start to push on and get some results and slowly move up the table. I'd be happy with finishing in 16th, but I think we'll get 14th. 13th, I am going for Everton. It's not been the season that Everton fans would have wanted or expected with Rafa Benitez as their manager. They did some good business in the summer, but results haven't been going their way. They're currently 15th in the table. Um, I'm sure they'll get a couple of bodies in in January. Move up slowly. I think the decline of Brentford will help Everton move up a couple of places. But yeah, 13th. Not where Everton would want to be in the Premier League table. 12th, I am going with Aston Villa. A respectable finish for Steven Gerrard's first stint at Premier League management. It's going to take time for him to get the players in that he wants to be at the club, the style of play that he wants, and for them to push up the table. 12th is a solid finish for Steven Gerrard's boys. 11th, I am going with Brighton and Hove Albion. I think it's only a matter of time before Graham Potter leaves Brighton because he seems to be a class manager at a smaller club. I think the fact that Brighton are where they are in the table at the moment is 
a miracle. I think he will move on at the end of the season. Someone, a bigger club is going to want him to be their manager. I'm not sure who, but I don't see him being at Brighton for much longer. 10th place, I'm going for Wolves. They have had a good season so far, currently sitting in 8th place. I think there are a couple of other teams that are going to overtake them in the league and bring them down. A couple of other teams that are just going to get better results that just means they move up the table. That's how points and results work. And one of those teams will be Crystal Palace, who I think will finish ninth. Patrick Vieira has had a, a very good start as a Premier League manager. There were, at the start of the season, a lot of debate whether he's going to be a success or not. I think at the moment he has been a success. We will need to see more than one season to see if he is a proper success. But this season has been a success. And I'm going to say success one more time. Success. Conor Gallagher has absolutely smashed it for Palace. I think they are going to have to try everything to keep hold of him because Thomas Tuchel has already said that he admires him. He wants him to be part of Chelsea's plans. It's up to Conor, really, I think, in this situation, whether he wants to leave or not. If he does want to leave, he's got the British tax as well. I think it'll probably be around 40 or 50 million. But I think they need to try everything they can to keep hold of him. Eighth place. Eighth place, I'm going for Leicester. Leicester have had a very weird season, shall we put it. Everyone would expect Leicester to be in the top six. They've not done as well as they normally would this season. I'm not sure whether that's Brendan Rodgers getting distracted with the Man United rumours. But I don't think they will finish in Europe this season. And it's an eighth place finish for them. Seventh, Tottenham Hotspur. They're going to miss out on Europe. At the time of recording, Harry Kane has just not been at it this season. Not been getting half as many goals as he should have done. Or not probably even a quarter as many goals as he should have done. And that's really let Tottenham down. Son has been overachieving and overworking for Tottenham. And that makes me think they're going to get a seventh place finish. This is where it starts to get tricky. Sixth place is Arsenal. Currently sitting in fourth place, Arteta has been doing very well as a manager for them this season. He's had his time. They've given him time and he is starting to now get the results. David Moyes has been smashing it at West Ham. Ralph Ragnick has now taken over at Manchester United. He's going to start to get results. So I think Arsenal will finish sixth. And in fifth, I am going for West Ham. As I mentioned just then, David Moyes has absolutely smashed it again this season. They've done very well. I think they would be very happy with a fifth place finish this season. I know they'd want to push into the Champions League, but I just think at this moment in time in this season... Man United are going to pip them to fourth place because they've got Ralph Ragnick, they've got Ronaldo, they've got the players and they've got the money that they can sign more players in January if they need to. Third place, I am going with... I'm going with Chelsea because Ben Chilwell is out for the season, pretty much. That's pretty much been confirmed. He's going to be out for most of the rest of the season anyway. Chelsea are, or have been, very reliant on their wing-back system this season and Ben Chilwell has been a massive part of that. Alonso is good but he's not Ben Chilwell. I think this season Ben Chilwell has been pushing to be England's starting left back. He's had a phenomenal season and I think him being out is a massive blow for Chelsea and that is going to drop them down to third with Liverpool finishing in second and Man City surprise surprise finishing in first. So this is my finished prediction that I've just done now compared to my beginning of the season prediction. The big one that's jumping out to me is Brighton. At the beginning of the season, I predicted them to get relegated. I have now predicted them to finish 11th. That's a massive jump. And fair play to Graham Potter and the team for proving me wrong. <laughs> my lack of ball knowledge there. Again, another one, Leeds, I predicted to finish 9th again. And I'm now predicting them to finish 14th. Me putting Leeds 9th was obviously Leeds bias and hope that we could finish ninth again. It's not worked out that way. I feel like if we didn't have as many injuries as we had had, we would be higher up in the table. Simple as that. But because we have had so many injuries, we are where we are. And that's the name of the game. Bielsa doesn't moan about it, unlike some German managers. At the end of the season, I will come back and compare the final table to my original prediction table. There's going to be some big differences there, but see how many I got right or one place off. Thank you very much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. I want to hit 200 subscribers as soon as possible. So you know what to do. Press that subscribe button so you know when the latest videos 
from me are coming out. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic 2022. I hope Newcastle will get relegated and I will see you in the next video. Peace.